Woo, hey everyone, this is Adair from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live from Bangkok, Thailand, guys. We've got a huge, huge video. Uh, it looks like we have this new protocol for Luna Classic out there, and it looks like this uh, new protocol is going to allow you to burn Luna Classic three times faster than normal. So this is really huge, guys. So we're going to be jumping into that, and this could be a huge catalyst for uh, Luna Classic out there. So, you know, I did talk about the IBC our protocol uh, this morning, and that is also a huge bridging, uh, you know, IBC is basically a bridge that's going to connect other uh, you know, decentralized exchanges with the Luna Classic and Network. So that's going to add some more and more utility out there. So that is really huge, guys. And we got this new Eris uh, protocol that's coming out. And it looks like that is, means that we could be burning 3x more uh, uh, Luna Classic tokens than ever before. So this is another huge catalyst. So we're seeing more and more catalysts happening for Luna Classic out there. So this is huge, huge news. We're going to talk about Dogecoin. We're going to be talking about uh, Bitcoin. And, uh, you know, if we look at the where Luna Classic is right now, remember, Everything you see here is uh, not financial advice, just OG in the house. Uh, I'm not a licensed financial advisor. Uh, we're seeing that Luna Classic is, uh, you know, making a comeback. We're going to look at the TA and the uh, fractural structure of that uh, in a second, uh, guys and gals. So don't forget to go down there and uh, boop the likes subscribe and show some love out there and uh, don't forget if you're watching uh, in the live stream don't forget to give super chat super thanks i would really appreciate it and also too guys if you do have a nano ledger wallet i you know extremely recommend that you get your crypto off uh, lending platforms and off centralized exchanges and get yourself a nano ledger guys and that is the absolute only way you can secure your crypto out there do go back and watch all the other my other videos and uh, let's jump into the content right now let's get it guys and we're seeing right now that uh, the fear and greed is unchanged uh, from where it was this this morning still at 22. If we take a look at the crypto bubbles right now, crypto bubbles are looking pretty good. We're seeing that uh, basically uh, Luna Classic right now is up at 20.6%. So that is pretty, pretty good. We're seeing that uh, more green today uh, for the uh, old coins out there. We're seeing that, uh, you know, Ethereum uh, POW, which is the Ethereum W, uh, it's just going down, they did it down, down. As I talked about in my previous videos, uh, this was basically the Ethereum uh, miners out there. Uh, they basically created a new fork of Ethereum out there and uh, it's just going down so stay away from that project it is a big debbie downer out there so if you take a look at the uh, the the heat, heat map out there we're seeing right now that uh, bitcoin is uh, just been holding its own it's been uh, kind of doing the crappy walk we're still seeing ethereum is still bleeding out uh and that is to be expected you know um you know like like i said buying the buying the rumors uh, sell the news and that's exactly what happens and you know you guys have to understand that typically that is what happens in the crypto markets and uh, you know whenever there's some good news out uh, often people buy the rumors and then uh, when it actually happens, they sell the news. And that, that is pretty typical out there. Uh, and I've seen this time and time again. I've been in crypto for a very long time. And, you know, I started off as a miner, in case you're wondering. Uh, and uh, how did I start start in mining? Uh, basically, uh, you know, I started mining on my computer just as a joke. And then uh, I bought one ASIC miner and, and plugged it in. I thought, wow, this is an interesting way to make uh, make free money out there. So that happened. And I just bought more and more and more and more. And I reinvested until I had a pretty big uh, mining operation. And uh, that's how I really got into crypto. And that's how really I made most of my money in crypto was that. And then, you know, any of the Bitcoin that I had, I just held it and held it and held it. And uh, sure, I diversified, uh, you know, into Ethereum and the top uh, 10 uh, altcoins. And, you know, my strategy out there is just to, just to hodl, have diamond hands and, uh, you know, absolutely that's all I do. I, I mean, I'm, I mean, I did, I did start trading uh, before, but that wasn't for me. So let's jump into the content without any further delay. If we take a look at the cryptocurrency markets right now, we're seeing that overall in the last 24 hours, Bitcoin is uh, slightly up. It's almost neutral there. So we're seeing that for the most part, it's kind of neutral. We're seeing that uh, XRP is up, Cardano's up, uh, Doge, Doge is up 1.42%. Uh, we're going to be talking about Doge, but let's get into it. Let's absolutely get into it. what else we're seeing uh, coming out. The uh, top 10 hundred richest Bitcoin addresses hold a total of of uh, 2.1, uh, you know, 2.1 million worth of BTC, and that's worth about 4.46.6 billion out there. Guys, you still got the huge Luna 3X burn uh, protocol that we're going to be talking about, guys. This is breaking news. This is huge, huge news uh, for uh, Luna Classic. Fun fact, Ethereum's energy consumption fell to 99.9% .9 when, uh, when it changed to uh, proof of stake out there. So that is pretty cool beans out there. What else we got going on? Uh, this is from TA Analyst. New macro bull uh, cycle is going to be beginning. And like I said, in 2023, 2024, uh, this is when we're going to hit the bull run. And we could be seeing that Bitcoin could be reaching, you know, highs of $215,000. We're seeing, you know, people saying 500000 people saying 100000 But respectively, it's definitely going to be much higher than it is now. And that is more of a testament to what you should be doing out there. Have diamond handles, hodl, 
buy the dips guys and don't panic out there it's a great time to be alive so right now we've got four more days guys four more days until we see that the uh, burns officially kicks in and that is when we're going to see that the burn is going to be turbocharged for uh, a lunar classic out there so that is pretty huge what else is coming in guys so new solution launched to burn three times more a terra lunar classic so let's get in, get into it so basically there's this protocol called eris protocol and it looks something like this and what eris protocol call is it's a uh, launching a liquid staking on uh, Terra Terra Luna so basically what this is what this is really talking about what this really does is Eris protocol is a liquid stating auto compounding protocol for LUNC was recently launched to burn three times three times more uh, classic tokens at the same cost and what happens is you basically uh, you, you get your Terra Luna you put it on here, users can stake the Terra Luna and still uh, be able to move the tokens without having to wait the 21 days on bounding. So if you stake uh, if you stake right now with the Terra Luna uh, network, you have to have about a 21 day on bounding. Uh, the, these liquid Luna Classic tokens are called Amplified Luna. The auto compounding feature of the Eris protocol allows uh, an increase in investors a yearly yield. So it's auto compounding as well. So, you know, the interesting thing, therefore, if you send Luna to a burn wallet, uh, it simply stays the same amount of Luna forever. But if you send AMP Luna to the burn wallet, what happens is it continues receiving staking rewards, compounded, and uh, the burn the, and it burns the yield and APY too at the current rates, approximately doubling the burn. So basically, what you're doing is if you send if you send your Luna tokens uh, to be burned and it's being staked on uh, on uh, this protocol, Ares protocols, the compounding continues, the compounding continues, and that's how you get the two x three x burn. So this is pretty good but wait there's more not only uh can we do this but we can provide liquidity to the lunc amp uh lunc pool uh as well and the burn the entire lpn now and that would uh, basically allow you to have 3x burn guys so that is means 3x burn uh, this year. Uh, so this is huge, guys. Absolutely huge, huge out there. So this is a really good, interesting thing. So check it out, guys. Check it out. It's called uh, Eris Protocol, and it's erisprotocol.com. Read about it. Remember, none of this is financial advice. Stake your crypto at your own risk, guys. So this is interesting. So we got the IBC bridge that's coming. We've got the Eris Protocol. So there's a lot of utility. We've got the, we, we got the burn that's coming as well in four days. So that is pretty huge. What else is coming out, uh, out right now? We're seeing that right now, if we take a look at the burn, right now it's about 3.9 billion uh, tokens have been burned and right now we're taking a look at uh, the social sentiment is kind of down de, 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 down down and a lot of that has to do with that the you know the price has been off so a lot of people have been kind of like debbie downing it out there so that, that's what that's all about what else is happening we're seeing right now that uh, luna classic right now has had a pretty much a really nice v-shaped recovery right now and it's trading at 318 down and it's up it's up uh, it's up today around about 19 percent let's just take a look at that on the daily right now do, 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 do. so let's take let me clean that chart so if you take a look at this a, a beautiful pattern out there we're up about four uh, percent right now and so far in the last two days we're up around about 19 uh, percent so that is pretty pretty good guys and it looks like we're having a nice a nice recovery coming for a luna classic so that is pretty good and we had this huge descending triangle let me just change this on the uh, four hours so you guys can see it better so we had this huge descending triangle and you can see that we have broken out of the apex and it looks like we're about to get back into our blue box out there so that is pretty huge news out there if we take a look at what's happening for a luna classic right now our, we've uh, done about 1.1 uh, billion dollars worth of, uh, of volume right now. That's about 22.62 percent, and that's uh, and that's up 22.62 percent. Excuse me, and that's about uh, almost 60 percent of the total market cap. So we can see that the volumes are picking up. So that is pretty good. And today, you know, we've just been going up. We we did we did peak out here at uh, 32. Three around three two seven one, and then we picked out again here at a uh, three two five eight. We come down a little bit, think, but things are looking pretty pretty okay. As you guys can see, if we take a look at the Terra Classic in terms of the uh, total total uh, um, volumes, most of it is coming on uh, uh, Bi Binance. And as you guys know, that we have the uh, Binance AMA that's happening on the twenty second. So hopefully we can convince Binance to do that to uh, basically burn off chain as well rather than just on chain. So that is pretty pretty huge out there. So also coming. In right now, if we take a look at the Dogecoin right now, Dogecoin is looking okay right now. We're seeing that Dogecoin. Uh, let me just change this to the daily chart. 
and give you a better handle of what's going on. Let me just clean this up for you. So if you take a look at Dogecoin right now, Doge right now is not looking too shabby. We're seeing that we're seeing a nice green candle out there and we're just above our zero, uh, 6 cent uh, support level. So if we can keep on keeping on, uh, this is pretty good. Even though, you know, Ethereum is down, we're still looking pretty good for Doge. Uh, we're seeing that the volumes right now are, are down about 29% and we're seeing that about uh, 25 26% of the total market cap is being traded in one day. We're seeing the market cap is slightly up, so that's not too bad, not too shabby out there. Uh, you know, from let's take a look at the DXY right now. The DXY is, uh, it's okay, it's 109.64, but we definitely need the DXY to come under uh, 100 out there. It's putting more sell pressure on Binance out there. Uh, if you take a look at Ethereum right now, Ethereum is just, it's just getting beaten, beaten the crap up right now. And it's well below my purple line. It's at 1424, so that's not looking too good. If you take a look at what's going on with Bitcoin right now, Bitcoin is just skirting, just slightly under $20,000 area. And uh, I'm hoping that next week we'll have a more positive news and Bitcoin will make a move. Some people are saying that we could be going down to 1700, uh, 17,554, which was our previous bottom. Uh, you know, even if we go down that far, I'm not too worried out there. I'm gonna be buying the dips like a madman. We're seeing definitely a weekly candle right now. We're seeing that uh, Bitcoin da is down about 8.8% for the week. So not too bad, uh, but it could be better. But I, I, I'm, I'm still pretty confident that, you know, at the end of the day, you know, if we have to wait till Q1 2023, I'm not bothered. I'm just going to be buying the dips. And that is what you need to be doing. You need to be buying the dips, hodling, and waiting for life-changing wealth out there. So that is that is actually what you need to be doing. If we take a look at Shiba Inu right now, Shiba Inu has broken down below our 12 uh, area. And right now, we're looking at uh, 11 out there. So, you know, from that perspective, we can see that we've been here before. We have some support around about the 11 area. So if this support doesn't hold, then we're definitely going to be going down to 10, 4, 7. So Shiba Inu is not looking pretty good right now. Yeah, so it's kind of looking kind of nasty out there. If you take a look at the social mentions for Dogecoin right now, we're seeing that that is also down. So things are not looking good for the social mention for uh, Doge, Shiba Inu, and Luna Classic out there, guys and gals. So that is going to bring this uh, video to a close. Let's just take a look at the total market cap. Uh, we didn't talk about that. Let's take a look at total market cap. So right now, the total market cap out there is right here. Sorry, my bad. My bad, technical is difficult. So we're seeing that the total market cap cap is up around about 0.45%, but we're still below one trillion, so that is not too good in the house. Uh, so guys, don't forget to go follow me on my Twitter. Right now, we got about 4,721 followers. Follow, 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 and uh, show some love with Super Chat. Super thanks, it looks like this. Go down and get it. And also, guys, don't forget to get my Nano Ledger, Nano Ledger link, guys. It's right down there by the channel on coffee and also send some dogecoin dust our way i would really really appreciate it. show some support and don't forget we got the merchant merch and uh, you know and uh, support the channel so things overall looking pretty good right now we're seeing that uh, luna classic is up we're seeing that we have the average protocol that's going to be a 3x burn for uh the luna tokens out there we've got the ibc protocol we've got the ama that's coming tomorrow as well uh so things are looking pretty good for for the uh, luna classic right now and, you know even though the old coins are either down or flat we're seeing that luna classic is actually pumping away so that is not too bad guys we're up like 19.9 percent .9 for luna classic so go luna classic go and you know dogecoin to the moon i'm still loving the doge and doge definitely needs to giddy on up so guys smash the likes subscribe i'll see you in the next one it's a great time to be alive Woo! peace out